up you guys so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do this TV warp transition in Premiere Pro so let's get started with the video okay so I have my two clips right here and the first thing we want to do is we want to make a new adjustment layer and then we're just going to drag it onto the clip and make it overlap the two clips kind of where the transition is going to take place and you can shorten it up if you want to make that transition go a bit faster now you want to make one more adjustment layer and match it so that it's the same size. So I'm going to press C and cut it so that it's the same size as my other adjustment layer. Okay, so now we have two adjustment layers. And then we're going to go to Effects and search up Offset. And we're going to put that on our bottom adjustment layer. At the beginning of the clip, we're going to press the keyframe button for Shift Center 2. And then we're going to drag the bar to the middle of the clip. And then we're just going to adjust the Y position up a bit. So I'm just going to 1165. And then we're going to go a bit forward again and then go to the end of the clip and press that reset button so that it goes back to the default like position. So now if we watch it back, it has this quick little like shift up and then it goes back down. Now we want to add wave warp. So let's go to effects and search up wave warp and then we're going to add that to our top adjustment layer now. Okay, so we're going to change the wave type to noise and change the pinning to all edges. And then we're going to change the width to 500. And we're also just going to change the direction to 0. And with the wave height, you can kind of change it to whatever you want. I just want to have a light kind of glitch. Um, I'm just going to go to 35. Okay, so now if we watch it back, it does this quick little like glitch warp thing. Um, but I it's too quick for my taste. So I'm just going to extend the adjustments layer layers and for the bottom clip I'm just going to drag the two keyframes at the end for the offset and drag them out so that the transition takes place a little bit slower. So now it's going a bit slower and I like that a lot better. Okay now we can go back to our top adjustment layer and we're just going to add noise. So this is going to give it more of a like bad TV noise effect. So I'm just going to make it to like 33. So now if you watch it back, it does this quick little TV warp glitch thing. And yeah, you can kind of mess around with this. So I'm just going to show you one thing you can do. You can, I'm just going to reset my keyframes so it gets rid of all my existing keyframes for the offset. And then in the beginning of the clip, I'm going to press the keyframe button and then go a bit forward. And I'm just going to change the X axis to the left and then go to the end and I'm just going to reset the parameter again. So now instead of going up and down, it's going left and right. So yeah, it's a really easy transition and I know you guys don't like to like use dynamic link to go to After Effects for your transitions. So yeah, this is a simple one you can use in Premiere Pro for your vlogs or anything. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.